So hey guys, what's up? Uh, in this tutorial, we're just going to be showing you how to zoom in on your scope. Uh, give you gives you a lot more accuracy. Uh, a lot of people like to do this. It's just a really cool feature for like snipers and stuff. So anyway, um, just set a zoom variable. Now, uh, also you move slower when you're scoped in, which is what we're going to do here. Um, that was just uh, dividing by our actual speed. So now if, um, mouse check button, so this will be, uh, we'll just make it the right mouse button, and then that'll be what we used to zoom in. So it's pretty simple code here, we just, um, make zoom equals 40, uh, you can, you can change that, but I just set it 40. Also, you move around, like, uh, the, you move around slower, uh, in your view as well, not just your speed when you're moving forward. So... Just adding it in here. Uh, okay, now here's the projection. Uh, this is this is uh, we just add the ext at the end to give us some more variables, which we'll now use to add um, the zoom. So that's what actually zooms it. That's that's a pretty simple piece of code right there that actually zooms it. So anyway, in Earth though we have to draw uh, this cool scope that we saw. We see, you know, so I'm loading it in externally because it's rather big, and so I don't really want to compress it inside of GameMaker because then it will load a lot slower. So uh, I put it as an external file, and then I'm just adding that in here. So now we're going to draw and actually draw it, but we don't want to draw the other scope as well. So we're just going to um, check that mouse check button is not actually pressed. And then we use the else function to uh, draw the other sprite. That way we can make sure that neither of them is being drawn at the same time. So we're going to um, also, uh, the actual sprite is nothing but a black box with a transparent circle in the middle. So, um, the actual scope will be just two lines. And I will do that because then I am assured of perfect accuracy because uh, I don't trust that the spray will always be in the exact middle, just due to stretching and stuff like that. So, nah. It's just uh, using the room width divided by 2 and the room height divided by 2. It's rather simple to draw the two lines. And then, of course, they'll both be black. Then all I have to do is draw the sprite, and we are good. So, you'll notice that it's not turning color. That's because it's a variable and not an actual sprite. It won't recognize it until it's actually in the game. So let's play it and see how it looks. So here we go. You can zoom in, shoot. Works fairly good. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, fairly short, yet very effective. So, goodbye.